Welcome everybody to the True Wireless Tier List version 7.0. So these tier list videos are recorded live. So if you see me talking to myself and making mistakes and you start to wonder who's this guy talking to, I'm just chatting with my viewers in the live audience as I go through this ranking. Also want to send a quick shout out to my friends over at SpinFit Ear Tips for sponsoring this live stream. If you want to check out any of the products, hit, hit the links down in the video description. More about their stuff later on in this video. Also, quick disclaimer, uh, this tier list is based solely on my own opinions. So, um, and, you know, my own opinions and my own personal experience with these earbuds. And also, there's only so much time that I can uh, that I can only go through so many earbuds before my voice actually gives out. So if I miss any of the earbuds that you're wondering about, just feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and I'll give you my ranking on them if I've tested them. So just throwing that out there. As usual, I am going to go through and timestamp out this whole this whole tier list as I've done before, and I'll also try to do some quick um, roundups towards the end of it. So, really quick, I'm just going to make sure I'm going to test and make sure that uh, we've got everything working correctly here. Give me just a sec. I want to make sure that the uh, that the Chrome tab is working for the tier list. So let's see here. Boom. All right, looks like it's working. I moved myself off. I moved myself over to the other side, and that way um, I'm not in the way of the actual like tier list rankings and stuff. So we'll do that. All right, so back to camera one. All right, we got that there. But yeah, man, a huge, huge thank you to everybody for being in the chat, coming in super early. You, I know you guys can be anywhere on a Sunday hanging out, but here you are with me, so it's greatly appreciated. So yeah, man, so huge shout out to everybody real quick, real quick. Sean Sanderson came through early by Burner. Kings fan, what's up? Cholula. Tal Macho, what's up, man? Jimmy Fire Dragon, Desmond Mitchell, what up, man? Good to see you guys. Appreciate you. Picky Audio sliding through super, super early. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Real Mrs. Jones, Evan, Drummer Boy, what up, man? Good to see you. Mike Hancock, Scott, what's up, man? Barry Johnson in the house. Good to see you. Appreciate you sliding through. Sean Pete, what's going on, man? What's going on, everybody? Aaron Miller, what's up, man? Bradley Larcher, good to see you. Appreciate you sliding through, man. Michael Corcoran in the house, what's up, man? LaShawn, good to see you. Good to see you. JoJo the Techie, always good to see you, too. All right, just going through real quick, and yeah, that's, you know, we got a lot of people in here, man. So so before I go into all of that, let's make sure. So camera two, make sure that's working. All right, we're, we're good to go there. All right, man. So yeah, so let's kick it off, man. So let me jump back over here. All right, so here we have it. This is the tier list here. As you guys can see, there are the these are the different rankings. You've got S at the top for the elite tier. You've got A for very good. You got B for day I. C needs work, and D is trash. So that happens. There there are some trash earbuds. <laughs> Not everything can be good. Now, mind you, in this market, there are a lot more good earbuds now in 2024 than ever before. So to actually find like bad earbuds or like just downright trash earbuds, it's actually a little difficult now. It's not as bad as it used to be back in like 2017 2018 and 2019 so just throwing that out there but we're going to start at the very beginning here let me see here just want to make sure that i actually have them up on here hopefully i do mm, i don't know maybe i don't okay yeah so this is where we're going to start so let me jump over to camera two and let's start here. So we're going to start with one of the latest things that has actually appeared in um, in my studio, and that's going to be the Moondrop Golden Ages, 1979. So these finally came in, man, it took freaking forever. They literally came in a couple of days ago. So I haven't gone through and done like a full test or a full review on them. I've just been listening to them, just enjoying the sound quality and really kind of figuring out like, do I like these? Do I like the way that they sound? How are they holding up so far? And so far for me, the sound quality on these are excellent, excellent. These are S tier for sound quality. The volume on them is actually surprisingly loud as well. So very, very good. Now these also feature active noise cancellation, transparency mode, touch controls, but they are a little bit on the weaker side. So it's kind of what's to be expected for something that comes in at this price point, you know, under a hundred dollars. So nothing too wild there. You can do better if you want stronger ANC and, and those other features by going with something like, you know, from OnePlus or Soundcore or somebody like that. But the sound quality of these is excellent. We've got Moondrops tuning on these guys as well. Very well balanced. So check that out. But yeah, that's what they basically look like. Very similar to the Moondrop Space Travel and how they look, but overall very, very good. So let's jump over to the ranking real quick here. And so as far as the Moondrop Golden, uh, go <laughs> the, the Moondrop Golden Ages, I almost said Golden Arches. <laughs> But yeah, the, the Moondrop Golden Ages, I'm putting these up in the A for very good. Now, mind you, they could be S for sound quality, but you know, considering the fact that one, they're a little bit on the lower price, which just isn't a con against them. But 
the fact that the the noise cancellation just isn't up to par with other things in the elite level um the controls the app support really needs a lot of work so uh, and the controls are still a bit finicky like just in my testing that i've tested them so far it's been a little bit finicky as far as the controls so i have to put them in very good now mind you they would be in the bdi tier for all of that but because of the sound quality is so outstanding that's actually what moves them up into the a class so yeah those are the moon drop golden ages now as i've said before and multiple times all of the links to all the products I'm going to be talking about in this tier list are going to be in the video description. So if anybody's interested in picking any of those up, that's where you're going to find all of that. But yeah, so we've got them in the very first one. Those are going to be in the A class. Now, I'm pretty sure some of you guys actually ended up picking these up. I'm, I'm not sure who did or didn't, but I, I think some of you guys ended up picking these up as well. No, I'm not the only one because people got these like <laughs> people got these way before I did, man. Like I had ordered mine and it took weeks for mine to show up. I'm like, come on, man. What's going on there, man? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that happens, man. That happens. But yeah, so those are the Moondrop uh, Golden uh, Golden Ages 1979, man. So yeah, so A class are the very first ones on the screen. So let's go ahead and move into the next one. So the very next one here is going to be, and these are going to be one of my favorite earbuds that came out. I believe these launched last year, and I do have a full review on the channel of these already as is. So. Boom. So these guys right here, these are the Nothing Ear 2. So as I said before, I do have a full review on the channel with these guys. Sound on these guys is well balanced. Huge shout out to the people at Nothing for upgrading their earbuds from the original version um, to the Nothing Ear 2. Huge difference in sound quality. Also, big shout out to the people that they work with, like DMS, to really get the sound quality and the active noise cancellation on these up to par. So you got strong noise cancellation, you got well balanced sound, good transparency mode. The app is good. The call quality on these is surprisingly good good so really the only bad thing i would have to say about these would be the battery life so the battery life is a little sus i think it's like less than four hours if i remember correctly so not the greatest on battery life but these are tiny earbuds are very comfortable so obviously we can't have it all in one thing but overall very 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 good if, if anything these guys for me the nothing ear 2 they're um as far as well-balanced sound i would believe they'd be s tier but i, I think they're more like a plus for me personally um, that's kind of where I land with the nothing ear too. So let me bring them up here. So let me pop them back up on the screen. So I don't think they're, they're, I don't know. S tier is a little high for nothing. I would say, I'm not sure, man, but for me, they're more in the very good, like a, a plus. So like a high a, I would say, um, I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's kind of where I land on these guys. I'm, I'm sort of torn because I like the sound of them. They're very well balanced, but eh, I don't know, man. The battery life is a little sus. That's the only thing, man. But so I'm going to put them in a, a very good for right now. That's where I'm going to leave them. Um, I think we'll be okay with them being right in that spot. And shout out to nothing, man. Like I said, I don't work with nothing. I don't have any sponsorships with nothing. But um, overall, like I said, the, the fact that they took a lot of community feedback on this product and made a massive night and day improvement, that to me is very, very good. So um, very, very, very impressed with them. But yeah, now let's move over to the third, the third earbud for this ranking here. Let's go ahead and bring them up. Cameron two, let's go. So here we go. Now we've got the status between three A and C. And as you can see, I got my spin fit Omni ear tips on these guys already. So yeah, these are the status audio between three A and C. Now you can find these normally under 200 bucks. You, you'll find them hidden, you know, going on sale, whether it's on Amazon or status's website, anywhere from 130 to 150 bucks, an absolute steal. These are still my MVP. So if you're looking for something under 200 bucks that really, you know, basically crosses, it, it, you know, checks off every box, you know, crosses all the, uh, all the T's dots, all the I's they've got these, they've got you covered. I mean, these are excellent, excellent earbuds, triple driver setup on these guys, good noise cancellation, good transparency mode. You got both button and touch controls. You got multi-point connectivity. These things are excellent in my personal opinion. Um, and also really good battery, good app support, very good EQ and good call quality as well. I think the only real thing that I could say bad about them for, and this is just from not even from, for me, but from a lot of other people who said in my comment section, is just the size of the earbuds. Like they don't like the shape. They don't like the look. They don't like the size. Fair enough. You can actually get these in two colors as well. They got them in black and they've got them in this ivory color right here. But yeah, so that's the status between three A and C for me, the status between three A and C are an S tier earbuds. So they're going to be the first ones going into the S tier. So let me go ahead and bring them up here. And they are elite earbuds. For the price, these are really, really tough to beat, man. Like really, really tough to beat. So that's where I'm at with those guys. But yeah, very, very good option for you for anybody who's looking at picking those up, man. So yeah, they are they are definitely 
elite status for the status between three A and C. So yeah, man. So let's move over to the next ones and let's see what we got here. All right. So what else are we next here? Ah, okay. Bringing these over. So camera two, bam. All right. So right here, we've got the Denon Pearl Pro. So check these guys out. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll be familiar with these because these were my number one earbuds, like oh, my number one overall pick for well over a year. Like these are, these were only recently dethroned by the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 4. So right now these are my, still my number two pick. And in some cases, depending on what you want out of a set of earbuds, they could still be the number one pick. So it just depends. But for the most part, just overall sound quality for sound quality, I do prefer the Sennheisers, but it's not by much, it's not by a mile. So these things are absolutely, absolutely excellent. The sound personalization here is second to none. So the Denon Pro Pro, these were, um, Denon acquired Nura. So, you know, Nura was known for their sound per, uh, personalization. So Denon acquired them. Sound personalization on these is top tier. You get customized EQ, very good. You got spatial audio, very good. App support, very good. High volume as well. You get customizable controls, the whole nine. So if I had to give them any sort of like constructive criticism, any cons, anything against them would be the price because these normally come in in the high 300s for these guys. Just depends, sometimes they do go on sale. So keep that in mind. I know they were recently discounted. And then the earbud size itself. So as you can see, once again, I've got my ear, uh, my spin fit tips on them, but these are some large earbuds. These are not discreet by any means. So just wanna make that clear. Some people did complain about the size of the earbuds, but yeah. So that's what we have there with the Denon Pro Pro. Denon Pro Pro, in my opinion, are an easy, easy S tier earbud. Like that's not even, <laughs> It's not even a question <laughs> at this point. So that's the easy an easy elite status earbud right there, man. Then in Pearl Pro, very, very good for the market at this price or at this at this time still. So very, very good. And for a lot of people, these are still their number one. So and I don't blame you. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it, this is one of the things where I, where I always like to mention, like, you know, because some people's like rankings and tiers, everybody has their own opinions. Everybody likes, you know, has their own things that they're into and that they like completely fair. I totally get it. Um, but this is just my opinion. That's all. So they're still very, very good. You really can't go wrong with these earbuds in particular. So what do we have next? Let's see here. All right. So this is gonna be the first time I actually mentioned these on the channel. There's going to be a couple of firsts here as well. Like obviously the moon drop golden age is the first time I've shown them here as well. So let's move in here. Camera number two, next ones. We've got the creative Arvana ACE two. So these guys came out from creative not too long ago. I believe they were like a February launch. If I remember correctly, February, maybe early March, somewhere along those lines. And these are features, some, some of the latest tech out there. We've got the, um, the MEMS drivers on these guys. So you're getting some detailed sound and soundstage that I was truly, truly impressed by. Not to mention, you're also getting Aptex lossless, Snapdragon sound. So they're really delivering as far as the connectivity is concerned. So sound quality, very clean, very detailed, very rich. So overall, very, very good. Good noise cancellation as well. I think the one thing that I hold against them is gonna be that their app still needs quite a bit of work. So overall, that's the that's the main thing on those. But for the price, I believe these come in around 150, if I remember correctly. Overall, one of the very best options under 200 at that price. So for me, um, these guys here are coming in. Uh, these, are, these are an easy A plus. Sound quality, if you guys heard them, you would say probably elite, but I, I'm gonna have to say, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know how many of you guys actually heard these yet, but these are very, very good, man. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in elite for now. Maybe it'll change, but overall, I am truly, truly impressed with the creative Arvana Ace 2. Um, like I said, they need, um, their app definitely needs a bit of work considering all of the features and everything that could be thrown at these, I think they really need to kind of step that up a little bit. That's just my opinion as far as those go, but overall pretty cool. So yeah, not bad, right? Not bad. So that's where we're putting these right here, bam. So that's where we have it. We're moving on to the next one. And yeah, so that's, that's kind of where we're at right now. Let's see here. All right, so. Let's see here. Now, now, mind you, I'm going to be going through this tier list. I just want to make this very clear. I know you guys are here live and you're in the chat. I'm not going to be answering any questions about earbuds as I'm going through. I'm, on, I'm doing the tier list right now. If there's time afterwards, I can definitely do that live. Otherwise, you're just going to have to leave that those questions like down in the comment section like we you would for like a regular video. Because um, I got a lot of earbuds to get through. So <laughs> so just just want to make that clear. But I appreciate you guys hanging here with me. I see everybody here. I see Nekula. I see Waris. What's up, man? Good to see you. Always good to see you, man. 
Let's see here. Who else we got? Austin. We got Austin Slater in the house. What's up, man? Good to see you. Appreciate you coming through. But yeah, man. All right. So let's keep this going. Rob Hawk. What's up, man? Good to see you. All right. So where were we? That was okay. That was Arvana Ace. Okay. All right. There we go. Now I'm now making sure I'm caught up here. So let's go back over to camera two. And right here, we've got the Sony WF-1000XM5. That's our next one up on the tier list. So the Sony WF-1000XM5, what are they known for? Top tier active noise cancellation. So excellent noise cancellation. Sound quality to me was always good, not top tier, but they do respond to EQ very, very well. So once I got these EQ to my liking, very good sound quality. Good transparency mode as well, fully adjustable. You got some good mics on here for good call quality as well. The things that I would have to hold against them right now would be the controls and the control customization, still very limited from Sony, which I just do not understand for an earbud that comes in at this price point. So that's something where I would definitely hold that against them. But like I said, these are top tier noise canceling earbuds. Some of the best on the market, not the best, but number two in my personal opinion. So these guys for me, uh, sound quality doesn't really meet elite level for me, but um, as far as all the other features go, obviously noise cancellation, that's gonna be, you know, S tier, but I would have to put these in the A very good, which I know, I know is going to anger some people out there because there's a lot of people who swear up and down that the Sony WF-1000 XM5s are the best earbuds ever on the market, but, but, to me, like I said, they are mid-level. So that's, that's just me, that's just what I'm saying, that's just my word, so, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? That's what it is. Thanks so much for ringing my doorbell. All right, so <laughs> so that's where we're going with that one. So that's the Sony XM5s coming in a uh, in the A tier for these guys. But yeah, very very good. Now let's move into the very next ones. Let's go ahead and bring them up here, and let's see what do we got. Boom. So next up, we've got the OnePlus Buds Three. So yeah, OnePlus Buds 3, next up here, these, in my opinion right now, are the best under $100 option on the market. This is my personal opinion, but that's what I'm, you know, that's what I'm letting you guys know. So sound quality on these is very good. You got strong noise cancellation, you got good transparency mode, you've got excellent controls, including swipe up and down for volume, and you got good app support, whether you're a OnePlus device user or not. If you're not, you get to use their uh, the Hey Melody app and you get full controls over for pretty much everything. They only leave out a couple of controls or a couple of options that are specific to OnePlus devices, but it's not that big of a deal. The only real um, constructive criticism or any cons or anything with these is that they don't have wireless charging. That's not really a big deal for me. I'm not like, I'm not gonna really nitpick over the wireless charging on these because they deliver so much already that to me, it's not that big of a deal. Just throwing that out there. So yeah, let's go ahead and put this up here real quick. And now what do we got? The OnePlus Buds, three so these guys for me now they don't meet like s tier they're not they're not up there with status they're not up there with denon um but these are going to be for me in a for sure they're not a day i no, they, they are beyond i so these are for sure an a very good so definitely where i would put these right there that's just my opinion as i've said before you know what i'm saying so <laughs> that's that's where we're at that's where we're at with these guys but yeah, that's, uh, yeah, OnePlus Buds 3. So for anybody who hasn't picked these up, they're excellent. And I'll say this again, and I've said this quite a few times, man. A lot of people are sleeping on OnePlus earbuds, whether it's the OnePlus Buds Pro, the OnePlus Buds Pro 2, or the OnePlus Buds 3. Don't sleep on OnePlus's earbuds. Don't think that they're not actually delivering some top tier uh, competition here. So just throwing that out there, man. But OnePlus, man, they're, they're bringing some good audio products to the market. Just throwing that out there. But yeah, man. So... Let's see here. Now let's bring these up. Let's see, where are we? Okay, so next up, next up. Now I know I'm gonna be over, I'm gonna be loading up the top here because I like to go through some of the best options before we start moving into some of the lesser options. It's just the way that I, this is the way that I operate. <laughs> just letting you guys know. But next up, let's see here. Now these, I left these out of one of my recent uh, roundup videos and people were like freaking out. I'm like, hey, listen, calm down. They're still good. T t t take it down a notch. <laughs> So what we've got here are the Bang & Olufsen B.O. Play EX. Now, hopefully, I'm hoping that at some point, um, Bang & Olufsen decides to come out with like a new version because all I've seen from them was like 
this exact same earbud, but like designed for, for like teleconferencing or something. And then like a red version, like a Ferrari version or something, but there hasn't been a new version of these yet. And it's, these have been out for quite a while, I think two years, something like that. So I'm hoping that at some point, you know, Bang Olsen decides, Hey, let's, let's, uh, let's hit, let's swing one out of the park again. So let's see, hopefully, hopefully, but for these guys, top tier sound quality. S tier sound quality. I will say that again. I stand on that. I've said this multiple times across multiple tier lists. You got strong bass. You got good, warm, rich sound, good volume as well. So the only things I would hold against them would be the price. Um, they come in at 400 bucks. You can get them discounted. I've seen discounts on them. So the main thing I tell people, if you want the BO Play EX, just don't pay full price. Don't pay full price. If you can get them for under 300, you'll be good to go. But just throwing that out there. And the reason I say that is because, yes, you get top tier sound quality, but you get like mid tier noise cancellation and transparency mode, mid tier app support and uh, call quality definitely could use a little bit of work. So I would get these for the sound, not for the noise cancellation. This is why I say make sure you get these at a heavy discount if possible. So that's what I'm, that's my word on those. And let's see, where are they? Where are they? Because I know they're in here somewhere. Where is that little photo? Mm hmm. Ah, there they are. Okay. So for these guys, these are definitely S elite in my opinion. They could be an A plus, depends. Sound quality is super, super good on them, but some of the other features, like I said, is okay. So yeah, just throwing that out there. But yeah, so that's where we're at with these guys right here. Definitely one of the top 10 earbuds for sound quality, at least in wireless earbuds. Just, just throwing that out there. Because some people will freak out like, oh, well, my IEMs do better. Yeah, because they're freaking IEMs, bro. Like, stop comparing things that don't match. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So let's do the next one here. And the next one up are going to be, let's make sure it's focused. We've got the Beats, uh, Beats, <laughs> the Beats Studio Buds Plus. So got them here in this clear version. You guys have seen these plenty, plenty of times all over YouTube, most likely. So these guys come in with some nice bass head tuning, but it's actually surprisingly well done for what they are. So you actually, you know, you get the bass, but it's still dialed back enough to where you still get good mid range. You still get good clarity out of the sound. ANC is actually surprisingly good on these as well. But the, what really holds them back in my opinion is going to be the price because they still come in at like 170, 180, which is, I'm, I'm just like, come on, man, you gotta, you got a lot of competition at that price point. That's a little too much for these call quality is not on par with something at this price point and the transparency definitely still needs work. So as far as the Beats Studio Plus are concerned, uh, let me see if I can pull them up here. For me, these are going to be a B. These are gonna be in a day I because they have quite a few things working against them. Now they're very good. I've actually heard from a lot of people who bought these and they really do enjoy them. So, hey, more power to you guys. But just in my opinion, they do, Beats needs to come a little bit stronger on the next outing when it comes to these earbuds. Um, but overall pretty good. So overall pretty good, but still just, you know, they're, they're day -ite. They're going to come in, in that B category. So that's, that's where they are. They could be a C, they could be a C as well. So they're, they're, they're right in here, but sound quality on them is surprisingly good. I was, see, here's the thing that keeps them up there for me is when I listen to them, I, I enjoy them. Like when I'm listening to them, I'm actually enjoying them. And that's what that weighs a lot. Like for me, am I enjoying how they sound? Yes. So that's what puts them up in the B day. Cause otherwise they would be a C. They would be a C tier earbud. So just, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, man. But I appreciate everybody still sliding through and hanging with me, man. You guys are the best, man. For real. Is that 504? What's up, man? Good to see you, bro. Always, always happy to see you uh, slide through. Purple Drake, what up, man? And I see Tim Windsor's in the house. Good to see you, bro. Always good to see you, man. So let's move into the next one. And the next one, one of the best True Wireless earbuds on the market, arguably the best for some people. For me, these are top three top three on the market right now. And that's gonna be the Techniques AZ80. So Techniques AZ80, these things are absolutely excellent. The sound on these, S tier, elite, top tier sound quality, strong noise cancellation, strong transparency mode, multi-point for up to three devices, excellent call quality as well, very good app support. So overall, very, very good. The only, the only real drawback that I have with these is the price. <laughs> That's the only thing, but you, they do get discounted every now and then. So just throwing that out there, but they do come in right about that $300 price point. So these are top tier earbuds. These are what I like to refer to as peak predators on the market when it comes to true wireless earbuds. So the Techniques AZ80 for me, it's an easy S. It's an easy S elite earbud. A lot of the people that I know that have bought these absolutely love them. They are so, so good. So yeah, 
overall very, very good. I included these in a recent video that I did of the best earbuds going into 2024. Um, these and the Denon Pearl Pro took the spots as my top earbuds for sound quality. Obviously that video was released before the Sennheisers came out. So, but yeah. So in my opinion, that's, that's like my top three right there. It goes Sennheiser, Denon, Techniques. So those are my top three right there. But yeah, Techniques, AZ80, super, super good. Very, very good earbuds in my uh, personal opinion. Let me take a quick drink here real quick. Let's see here. As we move through, and I appreciate everybody hanging with me. Like I said before, you guys could be doing anything, but you're hanging here with your boy El Jefe, and it's greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. I cannot thank you guys enough. But let's go. Let's see. What do we got next? Ah, all right. Well, we're going to the tippy top once again, man. So next up, make sure they're in focus. We've got the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 4. So yeah, full video of these on my channel for anybody who's interested in getting all of the different information. If you wanna hear the call quality, if you wanna get all the specs, if you wanna get everything that you wanna know about these guys, make sure you check out that video. So these are, like I said, still right now, as of the making of this video, as of April, 2024, these are still my number one overall pick for true wireless earbuds on the market at this time. You've got top tier sound quality, excellent EQ and excellent EQ personalization from the app. You got strong noise cancellation as well. And I would say if I had to give them any kind of cons or constructive, uh, constructive uh, criticism, it would be uh, the call quality is still a little sus, still a little sus, still needs a little bit of work. And then I can't give them a con for, for battery yet because overall the battery performance has still been very good, but I've only been testing them for what, like a little bit over a month. So we, I'm still ongoing. Like these are in permanent rotation for me right now, because as I mentioned in my full review, I am going to be doing a like three months, six months, something like that, uh, long-term review of the batteries on these to make sure that these batteries are actually holding up through charge cycles and through everything else. So, but overall, so far, so good with the Momentum True Wireless 4. So that's the update like a month later. Overall, they're still working very, very good for me. So no problems there whatsoever. So let me go ahead and grab these. Oh, sorry. Boom. Let's go back to the tier list. Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 4. These are going up into the Elite. So right there. Actually, let me, let me rearrange these in the order that they should be in here. There we go. Bam. All right. There we go. Perfect. So yeah, Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 4. Available in three different colors. Full review on the channel for anybody who's interested. Make sure you check that out if you want to do that. But yeah, so that's where we're at with those. Sennheisers, let's go here. All right. So let's bring up something else here. Let's see, what do we got? <clears throat> oh, all right. So yeah, so now let's talk about the what I consider to be, in my personal opinion, obviously, um, the very best noise cancellation on the market for true wireless earbuds, and that's going to be with the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra. So these are the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra, very similar in, in looks to the Bose QC2. So just throwing that out there, they do look very, very similar. Also, why I tell people that if you can get the Bose QC2 for you know a heavy discount because the Ultras are out, get the twos. <laughs> get the twos. You'll be, you'll be just fine. The ANC difference is pretty much non, like almost no difference whatsoever, but yeah, but yeah. So these, the, uh, the Bose quiet comfort ultra, these are the number one ANC strength on earbuds. It's crazy, crazy how strong that is. It's like spooky. Good. Um, good sound quality as well. You got a very natural transparency mode. Uh, you have some decent app support, but what I will say is this, the, the constructive criticism, the size of the earbuds, while these are smaller than the original version, those things are freaking massive. Um, it can be still be a little bit on the larger side for people with smaller ears. Uh, price tag is still a little bit up there as well. And the app connectivity. So while they do have a good app, sometimes the app just refuses to pair on certain phones that I've tested these with. So just wanted to throw that out there. That happens. It doesn't happen all the time. It didn't even happen when I was first initially testing these, but it's something that I noticed recently when I was trying to, um, I was trying to use them. I think it was with my one plus open and the app was just refusing to connect to the earbuds. But when I connected them to my iPhone, it connected perfectly. So I don't know if that's an issue with just the Android app or what's going on, but I just wanted to make that clear. So as far as the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra, so for me, these are going to be in the A very good, even though they do have S tier, S tier noise cancellation, their sound quality just doesn't match up to the others at that price. So that's where we're gonna put these here. So these are gonna be right there in the A very good category. So yeah, but that's where we are, man. So let's see here. That was the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra. Let me get those out of the way. All right. 
so let's see what do we have next here and next up let me see let's make sure yeah that's them so next up we're going to go over to our friends over at soundcore so let's go ahead and bring these up these are the soundcore liberty four so not the liberty four nc but the Liberty Four. <laughs> so just want to make that distinction very, very clear. So with these guys, you get their dual drivers. You do get very good sound quality out of these, in my personal opinion. You have the um, sound cores here ID, so you do get sound personalization. They do offer spatial audio as well. Uh, I think they call it 3D surround, something like that. They still have some of the very best mics for earbuds under 150 bucks. So top three microphones for, for that price point. Very, very good. And obviously you get full access to Soundcore's app, which Soundcore's app puts a lot of the top tier earbuds or earbud companies to shame. Like their app is so, so good. So it's not even fair. And then only kind of constructive criticism, uh, cr constructive criticism I can give them on these is going to be, um, is going to be that sometimes they're a little bit finicky for fit for some people. Some people they like, they just don't fit their ears well. They just can't get them to seal up well. So I'm just throwing that out there. That could be, it could be an issue for me. It wasn't, but I digress. So just letting you guys know, um, for me, these guys are going to fall under, um, let's see. Um, they're like a B plus or like an a minus in my opinion. Um, I'm not sure. I'm I'm a kind of lim I'm kind of a little bit iffy. Like, I don't know because to me they're still one of the best options. Like when you're when you're looking at something like the OnePlus Buds Three, these you know the Nothing Ear Two, Liberty Four, they're in that same kind of category, that same competition tier. So yeah, that's that's kind of where we're at with these guys. So uh, yeah, I mean, all right, so let's, let's let's do that. We're gonna put them. I'm gonna put them in the B tier, in the BDI tier. Very good. But that's kind of where we're at right now. So that's that's sort of that's sort of where we are. <laughs> but yeah, so that's where we're at with these guys. Soundcore Liberty Four. So that's that's those right there. So now let's bring up the next option, which is going to be um boom all right so this is actually one that i spoke about recently um because it's a very good option if you're looking for like workout earbuds right if you need something specific for like gym use um sports activities things of that nature these are a very very good option so what i've got here for you are the jabra elite 8 active yes elite 8 not elite 10 because i didn't want to cough up the high price tag of the elite 10s when i was uh, picking these up so i went with the elite, uh, elite 8 and the Elite 8 Active, very, very good. So sound quality on these is very good. You got strong noise cancellation as well. Very good comfort, very good grip inside my ears. So overall, really, really good option for you for your workouts. And I fully tested these during a lot of my walks, a lot of my um, my dumbbell and like actual weightlifting workouts. Sweated thoroughly in these, no problems whatsoever. So a very, very solid workout option when it comes to earbuds. So with the Jabra Elite 8 Active, these guys here, where are they? Okay, here they are. All right, so these guys. Now, the one thing I will say, right now when I, when I was looking at these and I put them on this list, I think these are going for 200 bucks. I think they're like 199. But when I got them, I got them at a heavy discount. I think I got them for like 140 or 150. So what I will say is this, and you know, mark my words. So they are a they are a tier, they're very good. But I wouldn't pay the full 200 for these. So if you're going if you're looking at these, wait for a discount because I've got a heavy discount on these myself off of Amazon. So if you're looking to check these out, just like add them to your cart or put them on a wish list. And when that price drop happens, then pick them up, but just don't pay full price for them. Just, I'm just saying, because if you're going to end up spending like the full 200, I think you have some better options on the market, specifically like, you know, the, the status audio between three A and C something along those lines. But, but if you need some specific for workouts, just wait for that discount, man, just wait for that discount. So yeah, trust your boil Hefe on that one. Save a little, save a little bit of money. Just wait for the discounts. So that's, that's what I'm going to definitely recommend you do. But let's move into the next one here. So next one up, what do we have here? Oh, okay, here we go. So first up, let's send a shout out to my guy, uh, my guy LaShawn and everybody else with Team Pixel. So we've got the Pixel Buds Pro from our friends over at Google. So these guys right here, shout out to Team Pixel once again, as I mentioned before, you got good sound quality on these guys. You got as much bass as you want or as little as you want. So very, very good. Strong noise cancellation and some excellent mics, man. The call quality on these, especially in noisy environments, is very 
very good. So the only kind of constructive criticism I would give them is the price. So I think right now they're still going for like 179. There is too much competition under in the like under 200 class that these guys just get outgunned. But much like the Jabra Elite 8 Actives, if you can get these at a heavy discount, somewhere under 150, a very, very good option, especially, especially if you are a Pixel phone user. Pixel Fold, Pixel 8, Pixel 7, Pixel 6, doesn't matter always a good option for you if you are on team pixel so let's go ahead and bring these up here real quick pixel buds pro so for me because of the price because of those other other things that i mentioned we're going to be putting these in the b tier for day i so good earbuds but like i said just kind of outgunned at this price point so again if you can get them at a heavy discount that's going to be the move so yeah that's you know and that's what i try to that's what i always try to tell people like hopefully unless you need to be that person that has to have like the latest thing right now, then yeah, you got to cough up that extra money. But if you have a little patience, if you can exercise a little bit of patience and wait, you can usually get a lot of good deals a couple months later. So, and same thing like that applies with people who don't upgrade their phone every single year to like the latest version. So I know people that are always running last year's flagship because why pay full price, right? So yeah. So shout out to those people that are making those purchase decisions. So next up here, are going to be the Apple AirPods Pro second gen. And shout out to Kadabi, I've got them in the Kadabi case right here. And I believe that's the purple or the amethyst. I can't remember exactly what the color was called, but that's the case. You've got that nice, nice rugged texture to it. But yeah, Apple AirPods Pro, as you can see here, I've got my um, spin fit super fine ear tips on these guys right here. So now, mind you, there's probably endless videos about these um, all over YouTube. Good balance sound quality out of these guys. Very strong noise cancellation. Still, still number one title holder for the best transparency mode, in my personal opinion. Um, top tier spatial audio when you're using them with the, with the correct types of songs or even uh, videos or movies that you can find, you know, playing them on your iPads. Excellent, excellent, and perfect for Apple ecosystem users. What I will say though, as far as any kind of like constructive criticism to the Apple AirPods Pro, is that sometimes I get some weird connectivity issues. Like sometimes they won't, they don't want to disconnect from my phone sometimes, or for my iPad sometimes, or um, sometimes they won't do the handover well. So it's just, there's some weird little issues with them. I'm not sure what's going on there. So I don't know if that's like, if I need to do another firmware update, I, I don't know, I don't know. but. I just wanted to throw that out there. <laughs> just wanted to make sure that was clear. So as far as the Apple AirPods Pro, uh, second generation, these, <clears throat> whoa. All right, these are coming in in the A very good. Um, even though they do have like the number one transparency mode, but overall, they're still not up there with elite level sound, at least in my personal opinion. Overall, very good, but still just not quite elite level that's that's kind of where I'm at with the Apple AirPods Pro 2. So let's do that really quick. Let me move these, move these around really quick here. All right. So as I had mentioned before, as I had mentioned before earlier in this in this video, that the this stream here today is sponsored by my friends over at SpinFit. So I've got a few of their different options right here in front of me, but yeah, so SpinFit, man, huge shout out to them. SpinFit has replacement tip options for pretty much most, not all, but most true wireless earbuds, most earbuds and most IEMs on the market in 2024. So you've got stuff like the Superfine right here. These are made for the Apple AirPods Pro. So as I showed you here with the Apple AirPods Pro, I do have the Superfines on mine already. So as you guys can see that right here, let me see if it'll focus up. There we go. Those are the SpinFit Superfines right there. An excellent option if you want something that's gonna be way more comfortable, not to mention uh, hypoallergenic, so you're not gonna have to worry about them making your ears itchy and usually improve sound quality at the same time. So those are the SpinFit Superfines. Then we've got the SpinFit W1s. Now the W1s are designed for your IEMs, your in-ear monitors, your earbuds, wired stuff, right? So I've got those right here. So I, I'm actually using the W1s with my uh, Sennheiser IE200s. And that's, you can see them right here on the IE200s. These things are excellent, man. So very, very good, good grip, good feel to them. I don't get itchy or anything like that. So overall, very good. So using these ear tips is usually how, you know, and keeping them clean <laughs> it goes a long way to ensuring that you don't end up with like a weird ear infection. And then you've got the SpinFit Omni. Now the SpinFit Omni are gonna be a deeper fit for your true wireless earbuds, right? So I, I've shown these in multiple videos across multiple products. I've got them here on my status between 3A and C. Those are your SpinFit Omnis right there. Very, very good. But if you have, 
earbuds that have like a shallower fit or like a shallower case, they also offer the CP1025. And that's what I've got here on my OnePlus Buds 3. So as you can see, they do offer a much shallower fit. So there's different options for different earbuds just based on what you need out of them specifically. So those are the four spin fit options right there. You got the CP1025, you've got the Omnis for the deeper fit for True Wireless earbuds. You got the Super Fines for your Apple AirPods Pro first and second generation. And you've got the spin fit W1s for your in-ear monitors. Now there's gonna be links to all of these down in the video description. And if at any time you're not sure which spin fit ear tips are gonna fit you know, your, your earbuds or your IEMs, just shoot me a comment. Just shoot me a comment on any of my videos and I'll let you know, hey, yeah, these are gonna fit for you. Assuming that I have them, and I've tried them, I can let you know which ones will fit. But they also have a very good website that also shows like what all their compatibility uh, is as well. But if you don't wanna go to their website, if you just wanna ask your boy, feel free. That's what I'm here to do.